I'm Asim Chima. I'm an interventional cardiologist at uh, St. Michael Hospital in uh, Toronto. The title of my talk was um, uh, Radial or Femoral Access for uh, Primary PCI, a Dilemma of Choice. And uh, in this talk, I discussed that uh, although the uh, transradial approach for angiography and intervention uh, has been utilized for last uh, 20 years or so. And actually, it is interesting that it was uh, originated in uh, Canada uh, when Dr. Campu uh, in uh, late 1980s uh, used this technique for uh, coronary angiography. And uh, since that time, there has been uh, major improvements and developments uh, in this area. Uh, although in the early 1990s, uh, this uh, transradial approach for angiography and intervention was uh, selectively used uh, in patients uh, and over time the trend uh, increased uh, predominantly in Asia and uh, Europe and North America uh, lagged behind uh, specifically the United States where uh, most of the procedures uh, have uh, traditionally, been, traditionally been performed by a transfemoral approach. And uh, about a couple of years ago, the landmark study, the rival study, which compared the clinical outcomes of uh, transradial and transfemoral approach for patients uh, admitted with acute coronary syndrome, uh, demonstrated that although there were no uh, major uh, differences in hard clinical endpoints, such as mortality or a stroke in overall patient population of acute coronary syndrome, but there were significant advantages to transradial approach, uh, particularly with regards to uh, reducing the uh, access site bleeding, uh, vascular complications, as well as uh, patient preference, who majority of them wanted to have their repeat procedures uh, through a, f a radial approach compared to a femoral approach. Uh, however, uh, there had been very limited data available for a primary PCI setting until recently when the rifle uh, study from uh, investigators in Italy demonstrated that there was not only a significant reduction in bleeding and vascular complications from a transradial approach in patients undergoing primary PCI for ST elevation MI, uh, but also there was a, a, a f finding of a reduction in cardiac death. And this was further substantiated uh, by a sub-study of the rival which looked at the uh, uh, STEMI cohort and uh, showed that uh, there was a significant mortality benefit with the transradial approach compared to a transfemoral approach. Uh, but uh, it is important to uh, understand uh, those findings uh, because they were done in a very select number of uh, patients and also by very experienced uh, uh, transradial operators Overall, the operators which uh, randomized patients in the rifle or the uh, rival study he had uh, more than uh, 150 PCIs a year, and at least half of their PCIs were being done by uh, transradial approach. And it remains a question whether uh, those findings are as equally applicable to uh, the general interventional cardiologist who may be doing a relatively small number of uh, uh, cases over a year and even a smaller number from the transradial approach because uh, the primary objective of uh, providing best care for a patient undergoing primary PCI would be to have a safe and effective procedure uh, with uh, maximum uh, reduction in door to balloon time and ischemic time as well as at the same time reducing the risk of uh, complications. So uh, transfemoral approach has been used for a long time and people are quite comfortable with it and uh, uh, it has a long tradition and history and with the vascular closure devices even the vascular complications uh, may not be as great as previously thought. So it is important to put things in perspective where the transradial approach for primary PCI uh, applies in 2013 uh, for an average intervention cardiologist uh, and not an uh, experienced transradial intervention cardiologist uh, I would agree that in an ideal uh, world, all patients with primary PC, all patients undergoing primary PCI should be treated with transradial approach, but whether uh, we are uh, in that scenario at present or not, uh, uh, to me, is uh, quite doubtful. Uh, so I think uh, the main objective of the intervention cardiologist should be to gain more experience in transradial uh, PCI and uh, in geography, and over time, 
uh, become quite proficient in the translated approach. And once he is quite comfortable and uh, able to handle the technical challenges offered by transradial approach, then he should extend his practice of offering transradial uh, PCI to patients uh, presenting with ST elevation MI undergoing primary PCI, uh, but unless or until he is uh, quite comfortable with this approach, I think that he would, uh, for this select uh, patients uh, who have high risk of uh, failing a transradial approach or a high risk of technical difficulties with the transradial approach, such as uh, you know, elderly males or uh, elderly females or small stature females, he should still uh, use a transfemoral approach to provide the best care uh, to these patients.